Hey there. Well, we're uh, getting ready for Washington week. I know you probably all want to talk about what's going on, what happened with Ohio State, and uh, that's kind of dead and gone as far as we're concerned, although it was a great event and we had a blast. Um, memorable, huge crowd, great, about the biggest, the biggest television audience in the history of a college football game for ESPN. That's pretty cool. But uh, that kind of stuff is behind us now, and it's time to get ready for Washington. Sark and the boys up there, you can bet uh, they're getting all tuned up and, and pumped about it. It's a great opportunity for them uh, with all of the kind of the built-in behind-the-scenes stories as well. So, uh, we're, you know, we, we understand that, and uh, we, we realize we got to get ready. Pac-10 championship game, and so we're, uh, we're pumped up about it. A couple issues in, on the team here with guys being banged up. We'll find out what happens here later in the week. i got no inside scoop for you yet. Um, I wouldn't give it to you because Sark would get it too. Sark's probably watching. And, uh, but uh, it's still, it's a very, very big time week for us, and we've got to go get this one. It feels like we've, uh, we've been on the road here for a long time going into this game, uh, even though the season's so young. Uh, but eventually this will all work out, and we'll get home later in the year and try to take advantage of that. Um, everything's going good. Preparation is fine. I know that you wonder about uh, what it's like going against the guys that know our system and all of that. Um, it's it's really pretty cool, you know, because we know they know so much, and uh, we know so much about them. Uh, it, it, I've said this before during the week that it reminds me of being in the NFL, where you're in divisions, you know, for a long time, and the same coaches are around, and you've gone against them forever, and you have all of the history in the background, and you know you have to work off of that and figure out, you know, how you're going to go. And sometimes it works for you, sometimes it doesn't. It, it, but it, but it is cool to be that deep into the, the information and the technology of it. Uh, just a couple things to uh, to note out. Uh, um, you understand it's Phil Jackson's birthday, world champ again. Uh, so Coach Jackson, we wish you happy birthday out there. And uh, other issues, what's up with Kanye? Come on, Kanye. You need to hang around us a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll level you out a little bit. Uh, and, uh, but you sure did stir up the world, man. Um, uh, I don't know if you watched last night, but the Red Sox had a big finish. Uh, big game against the Angels, big matchup. I was up to 1 o'clock in the morning watching the replay. You'd think I'd be getting some sleep this time of year, but that ain't working. Sleep's overrated. Uh, Hang in with us. We're having fun uh, messing around with the blog and doing all the things that we're doing. Had some great stories. Also, uh, uh, with uh, Geeter coming on board, you should get some cool stuff on, on Ripsit. Uh, he's going to add to some of the fun and the games that we play around, in and around the program. Uh, look for Geeter. Uh, his fame is, is really from the world of, of volleyball, yet he does football you know, on a regular basis. He's just noted for his craziness in the volleyball tournaments and the AVP Tour. But uh, he's joining up to bring us some fun as well, so we'll look forward to that. All in all, uh, we're off to a 2-0 start, fired up. Got to go get the first conference game and, and get this thing underway. So uh, hang with us, fight on. See you later.